Well, good day to everyone. It's Pastor Chris from Salt Church in Spain. Our congregation are continuing to do some very thought-provoking and very interesting words of encouragement. And today I would like to introduce you to one of our many Daves, uh, Dave Pritchard, who's actually going to be talking about life can be hard. It does have its challenges, but God does supply all our needs. Yes, hello everybody. Well, um, I've been asked just to speak for a few minutes on, and give a word of encouragement. And um, it's strange how God works, isn't it? But the day that I thought that I'd get on and do this, the word for today I spoke on just that subject. It, um, what it suggested was that what happens is that people get disappointed first and then they get discouraged and then they move into a state of despair. But you know, for Christians, for believers, those who are born again, things should be different. We should have a different mindset. The Bible says when we're born again, we're a new creature, we're a new creation. And, uh, and we should start to think a different way. We should start to think as we grow as Christians and grow in maturity, to start to think in a more Christ-like manner, you know, and think what would Jesus do in this particular situation. The Bible says we're saved, but it also says we are being saved. And it also says to work our salvation out. So that's a process and it takes time and uh, you grow in maturity the longer you're a Christian. Uh, the Bible also says that in this life you will have struggles. You will, the world will hate you because of me. That's a strong word, but that's what the Bible says. The world will hate you because of me. Um, the world won't understand. So none of us are promised an easy ride. We're told we'll have struggles and and things will be difficult. We're not promised an easy ride, but we are promised a safe arrival. And sometimes the more difficult the journey, the more grateful you are when you arrive. So let's just uh, look at this little subject for a moment and understand one thing. First of all, we need to understand that God doesn't tempt us. God tests. He tests us and he disciplines us. So there are times in life where you need to be tested and you won't know how well you've done until you're tested. And there are other times when you may be disciplined by God, just as any father would discipline a child. So God sometimes disciplines his heavenly children. He disciplines us. But the enemy tempts. The enemy tempts us and God tests us. And we don't know how well we're doing until we're tested. So there are times in life that are difficult. And I've been a Christian since the age of 14. I've not... Uh, by all means lived a perfect life and I've made some big mistakes and my mistakes started when I noticed that girls were different and um, and we've had some difficult challenges and uh, my baby brother died when I was just uh, a, a Christian for eight months and on the same day my dog was run over you know my parents had left the gate open so that was a bit of a challenge in the first few months of my Christian life but I've never never lost my love for the Lord I've never once doubted my faith but my life took even bigger challenge uh, uh, not that many years ago and i believe i went through a time of god's discipline uh, i was suffering financial judgment i was maxed out on about eight credit cards and things were difficult very difficult it's not a good situation and uh, as I, we were living and ride on the isle of Wight, and as i went out the door I just prayed a little prayer. Sometimes I have a prayer, I chat to the Lord as I'm walking along or driving and um, ask him what sort of a day he's had and what have you. And, uh, and I went down by ride, I said, I'm gonna go for a walk, Lord, down by ride golf club where it's nice and peaceful and quiet so I can just have a think. But in, I said to the Lord a little prayer, I said, Lord, I don't have any money in my pocket. I don't have enough money for a loaf of bread or a pint of milk and, uh, and set off. And, uh, and after about 20 minutes when I got down near the golf club, the, what happened next I've, has happened just a few times in my life, not very often. If it's not happened to you, you probably will struggle to understand it. But as I got near to the golf club, I heard very clearly in my mind, stop. So I stopped. And then I heard turn round, so I turned round. And then I heard, I started walking back in, where the way I came, and then I heard cross over. So I crossed over and I carried on walking and then I heard very clearly in my mind turn right. So I turned right and as I did so I saw this chap walking towards me, a bit of a yobbo, and I think God did a belt and braces job on me to make sure I didn't miss the next message because as, I, as he approached me I made up my mind to cross over anyway and I heard in my mind cross over. 
So I crossed the road, I walked a few feet and there was a £20 note on the pavement. Now at that point I could have cried because I just realised God loved me, he still had his eye on me. He says not a sparrow falls to the ground without him noticing it and uh, you're worth more than many sparrows. So God cares for you, he loves you, he cares about every aspect of your life and no matter what you're going through you know you can turn to him. Cast your cares, your burdens upon him, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So have a great day. Don't be despair. Don't be uh, discouraged. Just trust him. He loves you. He cares for you. Have a great day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Take care now. Bye-bye from me.